Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Olivia Joseph and I am so excited to talk to you about a topic that I am so passionate about. A topic that is so sneaky and that I have been studying personally for over 16 years and that's thyroid health. So let's talk about how sneaky thyroid problems can be and what they look like. So one of the most common symptoms I hear from people that have thyroid dysfunction or thyroid imbalance is that I am so frustrated, my testing is normal, I am gaining weight unexpectedly. Look, we can all appreciate when we earn our weight gain, right? When we're sedentary, when we eat bad, when we don't move our bodies, we don't exercise, we understand how weight can creep up. But this is so frustrating. When your thyroid isn't functioning properly, you can literally gain weight for no reason. You could restrict your calories, work out twice as much as people that you know, and unfortunately see zero results or end up feeling even worse. And of course, feeling frustrated mentally as well. So here are some other things, some other signs that go hand in hand with thyroid dysfunction to help you identify if maybe that's what you're dealing with. Another one is fatigue. Again, not fatigue that you earned. Fatigue due to staying up all night, not getting enough hours of sleep, not getting quality sleep. Most people with thyroid dysfunction can get a full night's sleep and they wake up and they feel so tired and groggy. They just can't get going. They feel tired all the time. I just don't feel like myself. And many of those people will also hit a wall in the afternoon. We're mid-afternoon time, things drop, you're craving salt, caffeine, or sugar again. It's kind of like all day, you really can't get your energy levels to where they need to be. You might be able to fake it with getting going, with enough caffeine, things of that nature, to just get by, but you know at the end of the day, you should have more energy than you currently have. That fatigue is usually accompanied by brain fog as well, which can lead to the third sneaky symptom, which is issues with mood. A lot of people with thyroid dysfunction, thyroid imbalance, report feelings of anxiety, low-grade depression, weepiness. So if you feel these symptoms, it might not be as easy as, oh, it's depression, it's anxiety. These symptoms usually go hand in hand. Some other things you'll see is sluggish brain, brain fog, that's a very, very common symptom. Sluggish bowels, that's a very common symptom. Dry hair, dry skin, dry nails, even losing the outer one third of your eyebrow. You're losing your hair and you don't know why, or your hair just doesn't grow. Because your thyroid affects moisture and how well you absorb water. And if you can't absorb water properly, you might even experience swelling. Bags under your eyes, swelling in your hands and feet, swelling of your tongue. You could literally stick your tongue out, look in the mirror, and it looks like you've been chewing on your tongue or you have these teeth marks on the side of your tongue. So here's what I suggest. I suggest you get the right testing done. And I understand how frustrating that can be because I have heard from thousands of women and men that all they can get is a TSH or their TSH is normal so they're told their thyroid is functioning normally. That is not true. That might mean you don't have thyroid disease or maybe you have a diagnosis of thyroid disease. You take medication. That medication puts your levels in the normal range but you still continue to suffer with thyroid symptoms. You do not have to continue to suffer this way. I know how frustrating it is. It's not your fault. It's not in your head and your thyroid isn't functioning normally, maybe it wasn't properly evaluated. So you need a proper thyroid evaluation and that might require you ordering your own testing or you finding a functional medicine practitioner who's trained on things more than just TSH. So T4 is a common test that's done. Total T4 is a common test that's done. Those are helpful, but not really, because TSH and T4 are inactive thyroid hormones, but that's how you get a diagnosis. T3 is a very, very, very important thyroid hormone to have tested. Free T3 is your fat-burning thyroid hormone. It's your active thyroid hormone. It's the hormone that brings oxygen, which brings energy to your cells. So if you wanna have a faster metabolism, better skin health, hair health, brain health, bowel health, mood health, hormone health. 
you really need to check out T3 and free T3 is the active thyroid hormone. A few more tests would give you a lot more information. I also recommend you have your T3 uptake checked. And when you see a low T3 uptake, that means hormones could be clogging your thyroid receptor sites. Very common in people who take or have taken hormone replacement therapy, birth control, estrogen, things of that nature, even if you're no longer taking it. Taking it in the past or a history of taking it, those synthetic hormones can clog your thyroid receptor sites. And then even though your thyroid hormones are perfect, your body cannot absorb thyroid hormones properly. So a low T3 uptake tells us there's a problem within the hormone system that's messing with your thyroid because your thyroid is part of your hormone system. That's why you see an endocrinologist, they specialize in hormones and blood sugar. So your thyroid works with your hormone system. Your thyroid also works with the adrenals, which regulate stress, cortisol, blood sugar, blood pressure, energy, sleep, how you deal with stress, belly fat, and all your sex hormones. So that's where reverse T3 is so beneficial because if you see a high reverse T3, you know that your adrenal gland and your thyroid gland, which are supposed to be working together, are working against each other. They are not friends. They are in a fight. They are mad at each other. And because of that, you may actually have an adrenal problem, not a thyroid problem. The cortisol affects how you absorb thyroid hormones and the symptoms can be very, very, very similar between, between adrenal dysfunction, hormonal imbalance, and thyroid dysfunction or thyroid imbalance. Last but not least, you have to have your thyroid antibodies checked. I say last but not least because 90% of people with thyroid symptoms or thyroid problems, 90% have those symptoms or problems due to Hashimoto's. And Hashimoto's is not a thyroid problem. It's an autoimmune problem. It's an autoimmune disease where your own immune system attacks the thyroid. You could have thyroid symptoms for decades before your thyroid fails and you have an abnormal TSH. If you check your thyroid hormones and they're fine, but you have elevated thyroid antibodies, you want to be proactive. You want to take action and prevent the immune system from attacking the thyroid and causing permanent damage. You want to protect and shield your thyroid from those antibodies. And there are things you can do diet-wise, lifestyle-wise, and supplement-wise to do so. Hashimoto's is the most common autoimmune disease in the United States. It is estimated that 20 million Americans have thyroid issues, and most of them don't even know it. Why? Because they don't have the proper testing. So if you're walking around and experiencing some of these symptoms, I understand you. I hear you. I feel for you. This is a majority of what I work with. I have trained physicians in the conventional realm and in the functional and integrative realm on thyroid health. I have been interviewed on podcasts and docu-series on thyroid health. I've created my own thyroid cheat sheet with what each thyroid hormone does what the optimal, not normal ranges are and what it means if there's an imbalance. I have been studying this so closely because these issues are so common and cause doctors to scratch their head and say, I don't understand, the testing is normal. The reason the testing is normal is because you're not getting the right testing. So this is why I do recommend you work with a functional medicine practitioner, continue to educate yourself, which is what you're doing if you've made it this far in the video, right? So I try really hard not to get too technical, too clinical, not to make my videos too long, not to overwhelm you. But if I left out any of this information, I feel like you, I would be doing you a great disservice. So a little bit of bonus material, nutrients that are really, really, really important for thyroid health, selenium, more so than iodine. Selenium, selenium, selenium. Selenium also protects your immune system. Selenium does such an important job in protecting the thyroid from inflammation, irritation, radiation, all those bad things that attack the thyroid. So selenium is a very, very important nutrient that unfortunately we do not get enough of in our diet. So I just wanted to give you that little bonus tidbit because again, this is a topic I am so passionate about. So I hope this information has helped you.